everyone. What a delightful opportunity to expand our understanding today. In this video presentation, we will cover a lesson in disaster readiness and risk reduction that everyone should know. But before we start our lesson, let us first exercise our brain in this activity called 4 page one egg friends. For this activity, you will be using a set of pictures to identify the term that is being described. Are you ready? Now, let's start an activity. Here is the first item. It is a three-letter word which described as a diagrammatic representation of an area of land or sea. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? Yes, it's a map. That is correct. For your second set of pictures, this is a nine-letter word which refers to a person who is expert in studying Earth's physical structure and substance. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? The answer is geologist. That is correct. Let us continue to the next and last set of pictures. It is a six-letter word which describes rift valleys where the crust has been stretched. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? Correct. It is false. So that ends our activity for today. I am very much happy and I would like to congratulate you for a job well done. Thank you for your cooperation. The correct answers from the previous activity are related to our today's discussion. Are you now excited to learn these concepts? Yes, of course. That's why we have Teacher Raj, Teacher Nudge, Teacher Gian, Teacher Evelyn, and me, Teacher Kim, to discuss about the interpretation of geological map to you. By the end of this video, you are expected to learn these competences. Identify the geological map, identify the parts and elements of geological map, and of course to appreciate the importance of knowing the uses of geological maps. But before we proceed to the different features of a geological map, we have to define first what is a geological map. A geological map is a specialized map that depicts the distribution of rock types, geological structures, and other features on the Earth's surface. It uses various colors, patterns, and symbols to represent different geological elements. These maps are crucial for understanding the Earth's history, its processes, and as well as existing resources. Geologists use them to study the relationship between different rock units, identify potential mineral deposits, and assess geological hazards like earthquakes or landslides. In a geological map, folds, folds, tilts, and rock layers are essential features that provide valuable information about the structure and history of the Earth's crust. Geological maps use these features to portray the complex geology of an area, helping geologists interpret Earth's history, identify potential geological hazards, and make informed decisions about resource management and land development. Now, let's proceed into our first geological map feature, faults. Faults are represented on geological maps by lines indicating the location of fractures in the Earth's crust. They show where one rock mass has shifted relative to another and can have significant implications for the distribution of resources and the potential for seismic activity in the area. Faults can be classified based on the direction of movement or the forces acting upon it. These can either be normal faults caused by extensional stress, reverse faults caused by compressional stress, and strike slip faults caused by shear stress. Next on our list of geological map features are faults. 
folds on a geological map are depicted by curved lines representing the bending or deformation of rock layers. They occur when compressional forces act on the Earth's crust, causing rocks to fold and buckle. Folds can be classified based on their shape and orientation. These can either be synclines, anticlines, or monoclines. In geology, tilt refers to the inclination or angle at which rock layers are inclined from the horizontal plane. This tilt is often measured in terms of dip, which indicates the maximum angle of inclination of the rock layers from the horizontal. The dip angle provides crucial information about the orientation and structures of rock layers, helping geologists understand the deformation and tectonic forces that have influenced the landscape over time. By accurate measuring dip angles in field and recording them on geological maps, geologists can create detailed information of the subsurface geology and identify potential areas of interest for further exploration. Tilt plays a significant role in shaping the landscape, influencing the formation of geological features such as ridges, valleys, and mountain ranges. In summary, tilt is a fundamental concept in geology that helps us understand the structure and history of the Earth's crust. By analyzing tilt and its effect on rock layers, geologists can unveil the mysteries of our planet's geological past. Now, let's talk about the rock layers, also known as strata or formation. Rock layers are horizontal or nearly horizontal layers of rocks that have distinct characteristics and composition. These layers are often the result of sedimentation where particles settle and accumulate over time. By studying rock layers and their characteristics, geologists can interpret the geological history of an area. Each layer tells story, revealing information about past environments, climates, and geological processes. Rock layers provide valuable insight into geological processes that have shaped our planet over millions of years. In summary, rock layers are essential components of geological maps, helping geologists understand the complex of history of the Earth's surface and subsurface. Now, there are five main parts of a geological map, namely legend, interpretation, title, susceptibility, and sources. Let us start with the legend. The legend of the map, which is also called key, simply refers to the section of the map that provides explanations for symbols, colors, and patterns of a map. This is done so that information in the map is presented as intended, as shown here, where in map A, it shows the volcanoes, fault lines, and age of the rocks in the region of Leyte, and in map B, it shows the different types of land across the region of Leyte. The interpretation of a map involves analyzing the presented data to draw conclusions about the geological features, history, and potential hazards of a, of a particular area. For example, in Mame, we can observe a fault line going through the entire island of Leyte with a projection predicted near the island of Biniran and trace faults within the re region of western Samar. This means that earthquakes are most likely to occur within this area and it is predicted that the fault will go through the Biniran Strait. The title is basically the title of the geological map, where it labels the job subject or focus of the map. The resource that we use is titled Landslide Debris Flow Susceptibility Mapping of Leyte Province, Philippines using remote sensing, numerical modeling, and GIS. Susceptibility in a geological map refers to the likelihood of vulnerability in an area to specific geological hazard or processes. In Map A, for example, Areas where landslides are most likely to occur are concentrated in the area where elevation is the highest, and thus represent, land and thus represent landslides that have occurred. In map B, a segment of map A, yellow means low susceptibility, orange means moderate susceptibility, and red means high susceptibility of landslides. The area with diagonal lines represent the landslides that have occurred. And lastly, the sources of a geological map provide information about the origins of data used to create the map. In this case, the sources are listed at the end of the resource that we used. 